Well, thank you for joining. If you are here, uh, it's because you're f interested in what's happening here at Kamloops Alliance Church, uh, whether it's finances or ministries or whatever. So thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, the, again, an opportunity for us to really just share what's kind of going on behind the scenes. Uh, when we're talking about our finances, if we always start there. Uh, this month, we, for the month leading, or for the month of September, rather, uh, the income was for 143000 That was what we had budgeted. Um, and we saw actually 116 come in. So a little bit less than what we expected. So these things, we're trying to uh, sort these out as much as possible to plan as much as far in advance as possible using last year's predictions and the year before that and trying to really be accurate month over month. And uh, it looks like this month we're a bit higher than what we, or we're a bit lower than what we anticipated. Uh, however, on that end, our expenditures were also a bit lower to the tune uh, of about $6,000 lower in our expenses. Uh, basically what that turns into at the end of the day, we expected to have a monthly deficit of 17,000. We actually have a monthly deficit of 38,000. Now, uh, again, you're gonna say, well, why are we in a deficit? Well, again, we have ebbs and flows throughout our season of our ministry life here throughout the year, which means that some months are less, some months are more. Uh, but at the end of the day, the budget for the year, uh, we have budget for a net zero budget, which as a not profit organization, that is what our goal is to be net zero, to use all the dollars that come in for ministry purposes uh, that very same year. So that's what we endeavor to do and we try and plan accordingly. So what does that mean then for the year to date? Well, year to date, we budget for 389,000 uh, and we saw 367,000 come in. It's just good to remind you again, what we're talking about here is general funds. We're not talking about uh, earmarked funds for missions or earmarked for capital campaign or earmarked for capital reserve or whatever have it. Uh, these are just to keep the lights on, to do ministry, to pay wages, to get the parking lot read or to... Uh, do the parking lot of snow removal, whatever it may be. These are the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, with that said, we actually had budget for $506,000 in expenses, but we've only spent four hundred twenty. dollars 23,000, which at the end of the day is great news because again, we, for up to this point in the year, we'd expect it to be a loss of 117, but actually we're at a loss of 55,000. So we're far, far ahead uh, of where we expect it to be. Uh, this year, so which is a gift and a, and, a, and just an honor uh, as God's blessed us and entrusted us. And so we just seek to steward the resource as well, what he's given us. So that's always great. We're just so grateful, church, that you trust us with this. And this is kind of how the numbers pan out. Uh, as far as the restricted donations, Care Connections, again, this is uh, the funds that come straight in into our community. Uh, they come in and get allocated towards the needs, a uh, very short-term or intermediate needs of our community. And that came to 18000 so far this year. Missions Outreach uh, was 15000 Same thing for that. Money comes in, goes directly out to missions, earmarked for that. And the Capital Reserve so far is $8,000. Uh, and what we've done so far. So with that said, uh, just a couple quick announcements. We had a members meeting here a couple weeks ago, a uh, week after AGM. And it was at that meeting that we talked about the capital campaign and what was happening, what all the plans were. We had a chance to uh, kind of show some slides, what was happening, what was not happening, why we're doing it, the logic behind it. Uh, there were some uh, questions, some uh, Q&A uh, with that. And then there was a congregational vote. And so the congregational vote was uh, we uh, was done. We took the took the ballots. They were counted, and they came back. And there was a 93 percent acceptance rate for, or a 93 approval rate for the project, which means. The project is now up and running. Uh, the last year and a half worth of work that has been put into trying to discern what needs to happen, where it needs to happen, how it needs to happen, how much it's going to cost to do it. All these things have all culminated together into this, uh, into now the congregation saying, yes, we believe God is calling us into this new capital campaign, into this new beyond all ca um, stewardship campaign. And so it's a $3 million ask. It's $2.9 million overall with different spots of the building that we're going to be uh, looking at doing renovations in and updating so that ministry can happen more easily and more frequently inside this building uh, as the God is calling us into a mission of making a Jesus known in our community and knowing Jesus. So that is amazing news. That means that uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the stewardship campaign. And so this is going to be the place where we want to start bolstering kind of the messaging on a monthly basis, what kind of the ins and outs are of the campaign, what we're, what we found out, where we're at, what the plan is. Uh, at this stage is now that we have had confirmation from the congregation to go ahead, 
uh, we are now looking at kind of the timeline. What does it look like over the next three years? When do we want to stage different, different projects? What does it look like to do it in conjunction with ministries and other things within our building? And so we're right now uh, sitting across the table trying to figure out what to do, when to do it, how to do it, talking to contractors and getting everything lined up. So the ball is rolling. It's exciting. We have been working toward this moment and now it's finally happening. And so we're just hitting the ground running as we're getting ready for this campaign. So again, this is the place that we want to make sure that we get regular updates to you with respect to what's happening and keep you up to date with this new, uh, kind of this new season of Kamloops Alliance Church over the next three years. So church, thank you. Thanks for trusting us. Thank you for allowing us uh, to do uh, the work that we're doing. We're so grateful, so appreciative. We were at a, a staff chapel the other day we were had the opportunity just to um, to do some worship songs and some reflection. And the reflection I had was, I really am so grateful and fortunate to be part of the Camus Alliance Church staff. Uh, we have such an amazing staff and to be able to partner with them, to work alongside them uh, for the mission of God, for the kingdom of God is incredible. So thank you church for trusting us as a staff. And we are so excited. Uh, the staff, the, uh, the leadership team, the steering committee, as we head into this next season to see what God is going to lead us into. So church, thank you. And we'll see you next month.